as deep. Did, did Mark give us any idea of, uh, of the impact? Is, is that very shallow and very close? Therefore, is that why we felt such a, uh, an, such a huge extent uh, sort of reaction to the earthquake to in Christchurch? To be honest, we had very short time. Uh, people are being told not to use their cell phones. We were talking to Mark on a cell phone. We understand, too, that there's not a, light, not a lot of life left in cell phones in Christchurch because of damage to the cell phone towers and the fact that they're not getting enough power. So we didn't have enough time yeah. to go that. We, we will be able to talk to him very soon from the Christchurch. He's going to come into the studio, That's yes, because the advice is to keep off cell phones unless you absolutely right. have to use them. Well, we're going to now go to our Christchurch newsroom. Hannah Ockleford is standing by there with some updated information. Hannah. Mm. Well, good morning, Rawdon. I guess this is one of those stories where our Christchurch News team is not just reporting this. We're part of this because we can feel these uh, aftershocks just like everyone else. And they are quite frightening after this big earthquake this morning. Uh, aftershocks have um, come thick and fast this morning. Uh, we had one while we were just on air with you last, uh, just a few moments ago. Uh, so that's certainly keeping the intensity of just how big uh, this earthquake is alive. Um, and I think there'll be a lot of people across Christchurch feeling that. So, look, let me try and give you a little bit of information information is coming into the newsroom we're bringing it to you as we can uh, the airport is going to be closed until at least 10 a.m. now my understanding is that uh, people are out there assessing those runways uh, with a fine tooth comb uh, you know if there's any cracks there that could uh, obviously uh, cause uh, further problems uh, passengers are being asked not to come to the airport because they will be turned away now we're going to bring updates uh, about the airport specifically to you uh, over the course of this morning and today uh, Another report just in, the Littleton, Littleton Tunnel, which was closed, is now open. Um, I guess there's been um, assessing, since light came up this morning, because power was down for some time, uh, emergency services uh, assessing the damage uh, and just coming to terms with just how big this has been. Now, earlier I was reporting that there haven't been any major injuries. Now, we've got an updated advisory from Christchurch Hospital. Its emergency department has seen a number of people this morning with minor injuries, mainly just cuts and bruises, but some broken bones. And I guess that's a uh, uh, remind, uh, timely, t a good time to say, you know, they don't want people in the hospital unless it is an absolute emergency. But there have been two people with more major injuries. One man in his 50s who was hit by a falling chimney. Uh, he's in a serious condition in ICU. And another man in his 50s has serious injuries after being cut by glass in the earthquake. And look, a lot of people uh, will have had near misses this morning. We've had reports of chimneys uh, coming down all across Christchurch. Chimneys just simply collapsing in homes. That'll give you an idea of just how big this earthquake was. If you just walk through the central city, you can just see, you know, uh, glass windows um, from the front of shops just shattered all over the wall, uh, all over the ground. Sorry, um, I understand there has been some looting in Christchurch Central uh, this morning. But uh, on the whole, uh, civil defence, on the whole, people are being pretty sensible. I guess that's the common sense approach that uh, civil defence want from people this morning. Take a common sense approach. Um, you know, sewage pipes have, have burst, so uh, um, be careful with your hygiene, uh, conserve water, um, and I guess that key message around staying off cell phones at the moment. There is probably, uh, we had reports shortly before about less than an hour left on reserve batteries, uh, so that time will be decreasing as we speak. So that key message from civil defence this morning, stay off your cell phones. Thanks very much, Hannah Ocker, for their live from Christchurch. And I've got an update here from Vodafone advising, as uh, Hannah was just saying, all cell sites have been switched to battery power. They have between three and eight hours of battery life left. Voice calls are being given priority over data. Vodafone asking people to keep calls as short as possible. Send texts where possible. Backup generators are now being brought in. Vodafone hopes to install these into its priority sites. Well, already this quake is being labelled the biggest of the century here. Remember, Gisborne in 2007 was a magnitude 6.8. This, 7.4. Well, Catherine Wedd is at the Civil Defence Bunker in the capital. She's with us now live. Catherine. Well, I'm here at the Civil Defence Bunker just below the Beehive. It's been all action stations here as transport, health authorities and police are working to coordinate things in Canterbury. The Minister of Civil Defence, John Carter, has just arrived and Gerry Brownlee. Now, we are hoping to speak to them very shortly for the latest, but at this stage they're still reporting no casualties and Civil Defence here from headquarters is really urging 
urging people in Christchurch and around that area to stay at home, don't go out and sightsee because everything still is obviously very, very unsafe there. Now, they're very concerned about water supplies and they are working here to try and coordinate things to, to get water in there. Obviously, sewage systems are out, so they are concerned about this at this stage as well. Now, they're saying this is a level two earthquake. It's obviously the most significant that we've had here in New Zealand in the last decade since obviously there was Gisborne, but they're saying because this was only centred 30 kilometres from Christchurch, it's had a huge impact. Now, we are still getting updates here. People have been streaming in here, obviously working from the coordination centre, and we'll bring you updates here as they come to hand. Catherine, what sort of resources are we talking here? You talk about people streaming in. Are people coming in, getting the briefing and going straight out, and how many people are involved? No, well, we've seen kind of um, fire emergency services kind of coming in. Um, obviously, lots of people from various government departments. They're all sitting inside the bunker here um, with maps. Um, phones are ringing off the hook. It just seems to be all action stations. Obviously, this is the headquarters. This is where they're coordinating things and talking to emergency departments in Christchurch and just looking at what kind of resources they need to get down there. As I say, water's out. So they're, they're looking at that and, and police, um, who they can get out to as, as soon as they can, people in difficulty, etc. So this is, this is the main hub where things are being coordinated from. But hopefully we'll be able to speak to the Minister for an exact update shortly. Great. Thanks very much, Catherine. That's Catherine Wedd in our Civil Defence uh, Centre. Well, the Director of Civil Defence, John Hamilton, spoke to us a short time ago. He outlined the situation. Well, we'll see if we can bring John uh, Hamilton's comments in a couple of moments. But uh, just, to, uh, just to reiterate, here's John Hamilton now. Well, the magnitude was 7.4, and the reports are coming in, which uh, illustrate uh, quite significant ground movement in some of the older buildings, uh, particularly those of brick construction, it would appear, have uh, suffered significant damage. Out and being able to see their own buildings and their own houses and being able to assess uh, the current situation, um, I'm hoping that people will be able to uh, make, make some adjustments to, to, uh, to, to their places so that they are safe. I hope that they will conserve water because water is likely to be off for some time. And uh, the sewerage system is also damaged and uh, people will need to make alternative arrangements for sanitation to ensure that they are safe and uh, we don't have uh, any problems in that area. I've had no uh, reports even of injuries at this stage, but then it might be, uh, might be early days and, and, uh, and, and, and we could expect some uh, injuries. Well, we have had reports of a couple of injuries from Christchurch Hospital, a couple of serious injuries. Two men in their 50s. One was hit by a falling chimney. He's in a serious condition in ICU. Another man in his 50s has serious injuries after being cut by glass in the earthquake. So that information came from Christchurch Hospital's emergency department earlier on. Well, we're hoping to hear shortly from Civil Defence Minister, uh, but uh, in summary, basically, the damage around Christchurch, it's extensive. You can have a look at these pictures now to see what we mean. They've been sent in by viewers across the city. You can see here the whole side of this building has just gone, lying in rubble on the feet. There are cracks in the road, may look relatively innocuous, but far from it. Uh, you've got to be careful if you're going to go out onto the streets. The advice at this stage has been to stay indoors. Uh, please do keep on sending your pictures in. You can send them to us via email on uh, TVN, news at tvnz.co.nz. I'll just reiterate, that's news at tvnz.co.nz. Uh, all of Christchurch and Banks Peninsula, along with rural Canterbury between the Waimakariri River in the north and the Rakaia River in the south, is still without power. Now, it's not known yet when power will be switched on. Electricity supplier Orion says the outage is just precautionary. They're trying to do safety checks, and until they're complete, they cannot risk switching the power back on. So far, no substantial damage has been reported to the power network, so hopefully it will be sooner rather than later that power can be restored across the region. Again, I'm going to reiterate that the advice coming in is that people stay indoors if possible. They are going to close the CBD of Christchurch, the central business district. The central area is now going to be closed off because of risks to people. We've seen these shots here, uh, hardly surprising given the uh, extent of damage both from the buildings and to the infrastructure with the cracked roads, etc. 
So do stay out of the CBD. It's going to be closed off and stay at home. That's the advice at this stage. OK, we're going to take a very short break now, but of course we will be with this uh, major story all morning.